I guess it must be Thursday at one o'clock, which means it's time for a YouTube video. Sorry, I had to get my chair up over the top of my carpet doohickey. All right, let me just double check that we're actually transmittalating over here and make it so that I can see comments when I see y'all coming up. All righty. Hello. It looks like I'm out on the interwebs, so that is a very good thing. I have a fun fold card for you today that I shamelessly stole from my friend Christy Gray. Not the decorations, but the fold itself. Don't really know what it's called, but I kind of like it. Hey, Rosie, how are you doing? Um, so it's kind of fun, and I did mine with the butterfly bouquet set, uh, specifically the butterfly bijou paper and some natural touch paper, and then I used the oval occasions. You'll remember. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Glenda. Hi, Faith. Hi, Catherine. Appreciate y'all joining. Hi, Pam. You'll remember that Butterfly Brilliance and the bouquet set in general does not have any sentiment. So if you want a sentiment on your card, you're going to have to pull something out. And I decided to use Oval Occasions, which, to be honest, is one of my favorites. So it's a very simple card to make. Um, and we open it up and you've got Happy Birthday and <clears throat> another strip of the DSP. The Butterfly Bijou DSP is gorgeous as is the natural touch. And remember, these are only available while this promotion goes on, okay? So um, although we will see the Butterfly Brilliance and the Matching Brilliant Wings again in the annual catalog that comes out in May, you will not see this paper again, all right? So if you want it, you need to get it right now. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Very simple. We're gonna make the cake first. That's how I kind of try to look at it. You make the card. That's the cake, and then you decorate it, and that is the frosting. All right, so here we go. All of these card cuts will be on my blog tomorrow, as you are aware. And um, so you don't even have to take notes. You can just watch. All right, so we're going to start with a four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of cardstock for your base, whatever your base is going to be. In this case, it's early espresso. And I am going to use my trimmer and cut off one and three quarters inches from the end, okay? So just cut off one and three quarters inches and hang on to that because this is also the piece that you're gonna use here. So one same size as a regular card base and you're, you're good to go, all right? Now, since I've got my, well, I'll just use my scoreboard because I really like it. Hang on a second, let me put this aside. You guys are going to be mystified at how easy this is. Well, you won't be because you can tell. Hi, Barbara. I hope you guys are having a great day. If you're in the Midwest, like in the Colorado area, I know that y'all are looking for some snow. Either, it was kind of funny, my mom and my friend and I have been kind of going back and forth. So the weather forecast for Denver is it'll either be 60 or four below zero. It'll be one inch or 70 inches of snow. <laughs> the wind will be blowing or it won't. <laughs> they just kind of wag it and they're probably going to be right, you know, at least half of the time. Okay, so I've got my piece of cardstock that now that I have cut my one and three quarters inches off is now nine and a quarter inches long. So from each end, I am going to score at one and seven eighths inches. And I'm just going to go ahead and turn that so that I don't have to do math. Okay. There we go. And that's going to create our card base. And that is all we need that for. So I will set this aside. Hi, Brooke. Hi, Linda. Hi, Annalise and Glenda and Linda. Appreciate y'all joining today. All right. So now that I've made these scores, I'm going to go ahead and fold them and give them a little burnish. Like so. <clears throat> now, we're going to mat some DSP here, and I am using mint macaron as all of my mats, so I've got, I got to be sure, because this one's a little bit different size, make sure that's off. What I did is I used the paper that is, looks like <clears throat> this, and what I did is I cut like so, and basically this is four inches by um, one and, uh, let's see, one and, yeah, so it's four inches this way by one and five eighths this way. So what I did is I just cut it four inches long, and then I cut one and five eighths and one and five eighths, and so then 
I was able to kind of line up that um, that design, although it's separated. So if you don't use, if you don't have a card that is, or a DSP that is directional or has a pattern to it, <clears throat> then it really doesn't matter. And even with a directional, with a directional pattern, I think it matters. But with a contiguous pattern, if you, even if you had a contiguous pattern and you messed it up, you'd be good to go, right? Okay, so that's just, that's just me, kind of a design thing. And I'm just going to mat these on a little mint macaron. Hey, Christine and Cynthia and Nancy, appreciate y'all joining. I was telling everybody, we're having, <clears throat> we are having a spring day. It is beautiful outside. It's one of those days, when, you know, when it's colder in the house than it is outside. I'm not sure how that happens exactly. But it do, it do, it do. Surely do happen. And that is the kind of day we're having. So it's beautiful outside. Wayne is out mixing dirt to put into our beds to get them <clears throat> refurbished a little bit. Sorry for the throat clearing. All of a sudden my throat is tickling. Maybe I'll take a drink here in just a second. Okay, so I put those together. And let's see, I believe we're going to go this way. So this is going to be on the top and this will be on the bottom panel. So we'll go ahead and adhere those now with some liquid glue. So we're making the cake. It's very easy to make. <laughs> it's called air conditioning. Yes. <laughs> yep, I understand. I bet you, are you guys warm still? Yeah? I guess you probably are getting getting into the warm warm weather if it ever really got cool. All right, so we've got that on our top piece. And then this will be down here. And like I said, it, it isn't really important if your pattern, air quotes, matches because you can't really see them together. But I like to do it if I can, if I can make it work out. Certainly you want to make sure that it's upright, okay? If the upside is the downside and all of that stuff. Okay, so that is that. And then I have um, another piece that I did not cut because, you know, why would I? And that is going to want to be, I'll get that cut right, quick like a bunya, like a bunya. Let's see, we're gonna do one and a half by four for the little, the doohickey piece. That's what I like to call it, the doohickey piece. Now on this one, remember this is gonna be, this is our vertical piece, so I want it to be an upright piece, okay? And actually I like that design right there, so I'm gonna pull my one and a half from that side, which means I'm gonna turn it like that. All right. one and a half and then it is going to be four inches long okay now now you go do your thing over there okay five minutes of rain yeah a very freezing 60 oh yes <laughs> you know that's you're laughing kind of calling it freezing but you get used to it being hot and 60 can be chilly I mean, it's 65 outside here, and I was, I still have my long sleeve on. I went out to, you know, inspect the work a little bit right after lunch, and I was actually a little chilly. Yeah, I know. I'm a wuss. What can I say? I'm a wussy wuss. I'm a wussy wuss. Okay. Now, we'll put that on the, remember that piece of um, early espresso that I cut off at the beginning? We're going to use it as our piece here. All righty, there we go. We'll get it straight. Straight would be good. Straight is always fun. I like straight. There we go. Okay, so you can see how it's starting to shape up, right? Fun. Now, I used the um, largest of the stitched shape circle dies. Let me be sure I just said that right. It might be the next to largest. Might be the next to largest. Yeah, it's the next to largest. Yeah, next to largest stitched shapes, circle die. Say that four or five or even once in a row to cut some of the natural touch DSP. And it is going to go right here. I've got a large uh, bumblebee colored 
butterfly that I used the Brilliant Wings die to cut from the Butterfly Bijou DSP. Remember, that is one of the totally awesome things about this, uh, this uh, paper is that you can actually use the whole Brilliant Wings die, the large one, and cut out six butterflies all at once. So you get a bunch like this. Okay. Let's see, I got a bunch more there that are all the same because I've used the little ones. Okay, so that's kind of cool. All right, I've got one of the big butterflies and it's going to go right here like so, all right? I've also cut a couple of little strips of the natural touch and I'm going to adhere them right underneath here. And that you may be saying, I wonder why she's doing that. And the reason I'm doing that is because of the sketch challenge I'm following. That's what the sketch asked for was these little strips right here. So, you know, if the sketch asks, I give. That's how I roll, I give if the sketch asks. Okay, so I'm just lining those up right with the edge of the mat right there, and then along the top, making sure it's parallel. All right, here we go. 50 degrees is short weather in Montana. See, there you go, it's what you get used to. When it's 20 below zero for 17 days in a row, or, you know, 17 weeks, then 50 starts to seem real warm, huh? It's all about perspective. Okay, there we go. Now, before we get too far, we'll, you know what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put this on the inside of the card, like so. And then you wanna kind of dry fit, do a little dry fit so you can see how things are going to line up. I'm gonna put this here. Now, you can put any sentiment you want. You just want it to fit in that space right there, right? So, in this instance, I'm using the Happy Birthday Sentiment from Oval Occasions, and I'm going to stamp that when we get to it in Mint Macaron. Ah, Denise, hello. Rainy Pennsylvania, but at least it isn't snowing. That is a very good point. <laughs> very good point. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and adhere this to our card base. And I'm just gonna put some liquid glue right at this top section right here. And then I kind of made it so that it would be right at the bottom of that strip, which is pretty well centered. Okay, and then just make sure it's straight up and down like so. Okay. Now, before I get too far, I'm gonna close this up and we'll make us a figure eight bow with some linen thread. We'll pull this out, give it a couple of pulls to kind of straighten it a little bit. Now to do a figure eight bow, it's really kind of half of a double loop bow. I'm gonna go one, two, three, and four, and then cut. And then do the figure eight, just like with the double loop, but you've got less loops, like, you know, half the loops. Half the loops, it's a half a loop bow. Maybe I should call it that instead of a figure eight bow. There we go. Then take another little piece of linen thread and, oops, and don't pull on that piece, pull on this piece, there we go. And make a little knot. Let's tie it around. You see what I've done here is I've clamped it where I've made this figure eight. So then I'm gonna tie this piece of linen thread around it and tie it off to hold the hold the loop. And then I just do another overhand tie, like so. All right, and then you kind of can do the Farrah Fawcett hair thing with it. Pull it apart. I like to keep these, these long tails until I see what I've got on my card and whether I really want to cut them off or not. I don't always, because sometimes I just like that look. All right, so then pull these apart. This is the Farrah Fawcett hair treatment right here. Anybody who doesn't, who never wished they had Farrah Fawcett hair, I think you're a liar. I do. Hey, Connie, appreciate you. This is beautiful paper, really is. Um, okay, so what I want to do now, I think we'll go ahead and get, um, we'll get that out of the way. Now we're gonna put this here and then 
I like to, I'm going to take this bow and it's going to go kind of in the same direction that the butterfly is going to go. So I like that. Okay, does that make sense? So I'm just going to pull this off so that I can do some, some gluing and some sticking and some adhering. And then we'll be ready to put the card together and get our sentiment done. I'm going to use a glue dot right in the middle of my circle and put my bow on. And then I'll take um, a couple of dimensionals on either side of the bow, like that. Get rid of that dimensional cover. And I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a, of a curl, like that. Aha, Aquanet hairspray, yes. Okay. Yeah, there wasn't enough Aquanet in the, on the planet to keep my hair doing my beloved Farrah Fawcett look. It lasted for like, by the time I could get down the stairs in the morning, it was not good. It was a total waste of any kind of effort at all. Okay, so there we go. There he is on there. And now we're going to lay him on. But before I adhere him, I'm going to go ahead and get my sentiment in, in place, okay? Because that way I know exactly where I want him to be. Exactly where I want him to be, will be. What will be, will be. And I just used my glue bottle to hold that flat. We'll set this in place. Gosh, now I've got Kesara Sara in my head. What in the world? Why? Why would I have Kesara Sara? I don't know. Oh, I know, because whatever will be, will be. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I've got him kind of held into place. Get this cleared out. And I'm going to stamp that oval occasions. <laughs> Aquanet was a waste on naturally curly hair. Yeah. Isn't it weird? Those of us who had really heavy straight hair desperately wanted naturally curly hair, and those with naturally curly hair wanted straight hair. I don't know. It's like we can't, we just, you know. We were always looking for something that we didn't have. All right. So now my head's, I'm going to pull this to me just a little bit, you guys, so I can get it straight on here. And I kind of want to center it in that opening right there. And remember when you stamp to not rock or you will get the little halo around there, I promise. So you can just hold it for a beat or two and then you'll get a nice, pretty sentiment. Grass is always greener. There it is. Ironed your hair. See? That's what I'm saying. You must have had naturally curly and you wanted straight. Me? I'm sitting there desperately trying to curl it. So, what in the world? Okay. Now I'm ready to adhere this little guy. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back of the circle. And we'll put him right here. Now what are you making sure of here? You want to be sure that your wings don't go past the edge of the card. Or it will make it very hard to go in your envelope. And there we go. Now, to finish off, I'm going to put, um, except that I've, oh, there they are. I thought I would use a couple of bumblebee enamel dotes, some dotes. Okay. And we're just going to put a couple right up here. Come on off of there. Oh, it leaped. Did you see that? Did you see it leap? I'll put one right there. And then I'm going to put one right next to the sentimente, like so. Okay, so all we have left to do for the card is, I thought it would be fun. There was no such thing as electric hair appliances. Oh, my goodness. Okay, yeah, no, I, I didn't do good with the electric curling iron. I would not have done well with a straight iron, a real hot, an actual iron at all. It would have been not good. Okay, so on the inside, what I did is I hid a strip of my DSP. And so, I'm going to find it because I know it's right here. Here it is. I've just cut a piece of DSP. 
And I'm gonna mat it on a little bit of Minta Macaron. Minta Macaron. You know, if I say mint macaron enough times, I will be needing to eat a macaron, which means it's very good that I don't have any macarons in the house. And Wayne polished off the Nutella rolls from last weekend, so I don't even have that temptation to, you know, tempt me. Alrighty. Now, what I did here is I wanted it to be hidden, so I just... Uh, well, I guess I probably, what would be really good is if I actually adhered this to the mat and then put it on the inside of the card. Just saying, technique only, you can do it however you want, but it'll, just trust me, you're going to want to do it like this too. You're going to want to adhere this before you start putting all those other fun things in there. I promise. All right. Yeah, curling irons and I. Well, part of my problem is that I'm usually pissy if I'm do it, trying to do a curling iron because I know that it makes no difference. First off, it's gonna look, it's gonna make me think I look goofy because I do with curly hair. And even if I get it perfect, even now, even to this day, at the ripe old age of 29, I cannot curl my hair and have it look like Farrah Fawcett and stay like that for more than five seconds. So I've given up hope. All right, now I'm just going to stick this in here, and I'm kind of eyeballing where it's going to be with that, with the pieces there. But what I did is I just pulled it like that and made sure it was, it was well hidden. And then I actually measured. I know, kind of crazy. I actually measured. And in this case, my, my piece is about a quarter of an inch, so I'll just make sure it's about a quarter of an inch over like that. Okay, see? easy. That was actually pretty easy measuring. You know what they say, measure once, no, measure twice, glue once. That's what they say. Somebody says that. I'm certain somebody says that. And then I'll just check and put it back at my quarter inch. It's in the way. It was much easier doing that without that stand in the way. There we go. And with the glue, you can push it aside and make sure it's actually straight. Right, actually straight. There we go. That didn't come out right. Okay. The most critical piece for me is that it be straight and that it be hidden. So there we have our card, our little fun fold card. Easy peasy, right? Okay, now let's do a quick envelope. Because, you know, my hair without a perm is poker straight. Yes, exactly correct. Exactly correct. I'm sorry you choked on your Raisin Bran, Linda. I don't want you to choke on your Raisin Bran. That is not the point of me yakking, okay? All right, I'm going to use one of, you remember I told you I cut my uh, big background stamp apart so that I could make individual butterflies? And, and I also have a set that I left uncut apart so that I could stamp all of them at once and cut them all out at once. Okay. So I'm just taking this little guy right here and stamping him in the corner of my envelope. Yes, I'm 29. I'm only 29, you know, plus expedited shipping and handling. Like, we're talking overnight express handling there. Yeah, no, I will be 60 in June. Oh, hey, but it turns out Georgia total change of subject, but it has to do with age, so okay. Uh, but while I'm yakking, I'll tell you what I'm doing here is I have my Dark Daffodil Delight and my Dark Mango Melody Stampin' Blends, and I'm just going to color this little guy. Remember when you're coloring envelopes with your Stampin' Blends, you have to do one of two things. Either have a very light touch or put something inside, like the acetate from your old stampin jig or one of the pieces of plastic off of your photo polymer stamp sets, put it in there to protect the back from the bleed through of the Stampin' Blends. I am going to risk it and try to use a light touch. So really all I'm doing here is coloring the whole wing with my Daffodil Delight. Yes, I would be using the Bumblebee if I had such a thing, but there is no such thing, so I won't and I can't. Stampin' Up, are you listening? Blends for every color. Blends for you and blends for you. Anyway, 
I've totally forgotten what we were what I was yakking about, so never mind. See, that's how quick it goes. Oh, age. Got it. It came right back to me. Weird. So I just discovered last night, I was told, that Georgia is opening the COVID vaccines as of Monday for people 55 and older, which um, I qualify for. So I'm going to get on the list. Wayne's on the list. And I will get on the list as well. And hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to get a vaccine before it's time to go to Maui. Because I think there's going to be a period beyond which I can't get one and still go. So there you go. Oh, thank you, Leanne. I appreciate that very much. Okay, so Dark Mango Melody, and I'm just using it near the wing root, if you will. And you really can't, it's not very much, but it's just a little bit of darkening. Remember, Mango Melody works really good for the center of flowers, too. When you make a, um, like a Daffodil Delight or even a So Saffron, you can use Mango Melody or even Calypso Coral in the center to just give your, not even change the color, just give some depth. Okay, there you go. There is your butterfly, and I didn't even bleed through, so. Whew. And then I'll use a little piece of this natural touch. Y'all, can you tell that this has actual texture on it? Can you see that? Let me see if you can see that. This actually has texture. It feels just like Luan does. Do you know what Luan is? Thank you, Pam, I appreciate that. Thanks, Victoria. Yes, Georgia. Mm -hmm. In Georgia. In Georgia. We can get the shots. And they said people under 55. There was like a whole little list of people even under 55 who are going to be able to get it. So I don't know. I guess all of a sudden there was a big influx of vaccines. So that is a good thing. I think. I think it's a good thing. Yeah, I think it's a good thing. Okay. And here we go. You saw what I did? I just put a little line of liquid glue around the edge of the flap, and then I adhered my piece of DSP, and now I gave it a good rub, and now I'll just fussy cut the extra. It takes about a two and a half inch by six inch piece of DSP to do an envelope flap. All right. And you guys, that is it. How easy was that fun fold? Fun and easy? Yes, please. I'll take it. And there we go. All righty. All right, guys. I appreciate you spending part of your day with me. And I hope you have a great rest of your week. And I hope I'll see you on Saturday for my Facebook Live video at 7 Eastern. All right. Have a good one, guys. Thank you. Bye.